Welcome to the Venturesome channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do the awesome Vertigo Zoom. Start by getting up with your ass and go out and film a cool shot. But the Vertigo Zoom doesn't work with all kinds of shots. You need to make sure that you have a shot with a push-in or a pull-out move. That basically means you need to start far away from your subject and walk closer to it, or start close to your subject and walk away from it. The effect in general works best when your subject is in the middle of the frame. As soon as you have your shot, go into Premiere or your editor of choice and import your footage. When in Premiere, go to the Effect Controls tab and click the clock next to Position and Scale. This activates keyframes so you can animate the shot. Make sure to do that at the position where the Vertigo Zoom should start. Next, drag the scale value up to digitally zoom into your shot. This generally works best with 4K footage, but it also works with Full HD shots. For example, the shot I used was a Full HD shot as well. So never mind about that, it looks great. Doesn't it? Yay! When you zoomed in, adjust the position of the frame to your preference by pulling up the value of the position tab. Then we need to choose the part where the effect should end. I like it best when the effect takes around 5 seconds, but you can play with it to find your perfect spot. When you chose the end frame of the effect, simply put the value of scale back to 100 and reset the position by clicking on the arrow right next to the keyframe button. That's basically it, now you have some pretty sick background movement and you just made your first Vertigo Zoom. And the little pro tip, if you have a foreground like these poles for example, the effect will work even better. And just because it's cool, here you go again. And by the way, if you want to get the same colors as we got in this shot, we will be releasing our winter lot package on the 5th of December. Uh, link will be in the description. Thank you and bye! Ta-da!